Hey folks, this is Shock, and as you know, uh, Penn Jillette is an atheist, and he does things like ridicule Christianity. Um, he called Jesus Christ some you know, pretty bad things. He did a show one time where, um, if you click below this video, you can see what he did, and he's very hostile uh, to Jesus Christ and Christianity. So what I thought I would do in a in a um, more civil way is to challenge him to an intellectual debate because I used to be an atheist myself and I realize how atheism is full of crapola and I'm now saved through Jesus Christ my Lord and my Savior so I really know that if Penn Jillette debated me that um, he would be exposed for not really being uh, an intellectual because atheism is really a faith-based worldview. There really is no proof and evidence at all that it's even accurate and correct. As you know, we challenge the Atheist Experience Show to, you know, give us some proof and evidence that atheism is accurate and correct, and they obsessed about unicorns in a cardboard box for like five minutes. So we've been challenging people to debate. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've won 48 debates in a row. Christian theism has conquered... 48 atheist debates in a row and um, so evidently Penn Jillette heard about it and um, I looking on the internet it's all over the internet and there's this blog also that someone sent me I'll put the link below here and the title of it is Penn Jillette the Cowardly Atheist and basically um, I do not know this person whoever it is whoever has this blog or whatever. Um, but <clears throat> the, a lot of the atheists do not like that Penn Jillette chickened out of my debate challenge. And um, so basically I'll read this to you. It says, Today Penn Jillette posted a video about not wanting to debate some ex-atheist Christian conservative video producer about atheism. Now, if you look right here, it says, in Mr. Gillette's video, or look below this video, click the link, and you can go to this blog. He states that his reason for not debating shock of God, stating that he believes him to be a troll, <laughs> and not a serious person to debate. Well, look, I've debated 48 people, and I've never called them trolls. When someone wants to debate, you know, I'm confident that Christian theism is more plausible than atheism. Um, and yet, he says he doesn't want to debate, not because he's too busy, not because of this or that, but because he's, he calls me a name, uh, a troll. Now, <clears throat> I don't think anyone's buying into this excuse. And the, the author of this blog is not buying into it either. Look what he says here, or she says... Um, that being said, I think it is a bit cowardly on Mr. Gillette's part to refuse to debate and refer to Shock of God as a troll. And then he goes on to saying, I understand if you're busy and all that, you know, just say you're busy or whatever. Um, and he even says that if uh, he would have just said, oh, he's busy. He said, you know, he could understand, look down here, that would be an acceptable response. However, here's the problem that Penn, what Penn did. Because he decided to insult the challenger, I think that smacks of cowardice. And the person on this blog is right. He says, look, if you're an atheist and you constantly berate other non-atheists. Now, if you're an atheist watching this, he's not talking about you. He's talking about Penn, because that's all Penn does on his shows. Um, and that's fine. He has the right to do it. Um, but we have the right to go ahead and say, okay, well, let's have a debate. Let's see what's wiser, the fiction of atheism or the nonfiction of Christian theism. So the author of this blog says, look, if you're an atheist and you constantly berate other non-atheists for whatever they believe, you should not be surprised when somebody decides to fight back. Even worse, atheists tend to claim they have reason and science on their side, yet they continually refuse to debate clear facts that present a contrary position to their own. Now, it goes on and on. He says, more than that, 
Penn Gillette has constantly berated those who do believe on his show. So he does berate, you know, Christians over and over and over. Um, he even said some very bad things about Jesus Christ. I'm not even going to get into it here. Um, but I mean, you know, basically when I was showing my mom, I go, Mom, look what this guy does. You know, my mom, she goes, I can't believe that guy, you know, that he would say that. So I think it's backfiring on Penn. People just think that he's acting like a bunch of trash. It's like so flaky the way he's acting. For example, he said, this guy says, for example, in the episode dealing with the conspiracies behind the moon landing, I guess Penn believes the moon landing was a conspiracy. I don't know. I didn't see the conspiracy. He asked one of the prop guys about the supposed prop rocks. The prop guy was busily sticking a drill through a Bible for no apparent reason. Now, I do not watch his show all that often, but it was clear to me that he was taking the time to bash Christians and Christian belief for no real reason other than he could. So I'm glad in a way that Penn chickened out and cowered to my debate. I mean, they're just dishonest, guys. They, they have no plausible argumentation for why we should believe atheism is true. This person on this blog says it best. Yet he cowers when challenged directly. I think that says it all, guys. If you're a Christian theist, this should give you extreme confidence. You know, we love the atheists. We want them, you know, to be saved. But there's nothing wrong with taking it to them. Taking it to them and challenging them and say, let's have a civil debate. You give us reasons why you believe God doesn't exist. We'll give you reasons why we know God does exist. And let's get it on. Let's get this show on the road. Unfortunately for Penn Jillette, he's he's done a new magic trick. Penn Jillette has turned himself into a chicken.